Happy Thursday, Thursday folks, and today it's a little bit different because we're not having homebrew today. Now, I don't know if you know your little or you have a local little by you. I do, and this week is their Alpenfest, which has a lot of beers to do with the Oktoberfest. And I went shopping and got this. Now, this is Lidl's Oktoberfest beer selection. There, there's a few. I have to say this box, when I got it, rather heavy. I got two of these, by the way. Um, 25 quid for 10 beers. And these are, look at them. There's some good beers. There's some very good looking beers in there. And so I thought I would try one and see what it's like. So we're having the Bischofschoff. No, my pronunciation of German, it's, it's obviously going to be bad. Uh, original Fest beer, and this comes out at 5.4%. So let's get a crack and see what it's like. Nice, here's, so these are all like 500ml bottles, 500ml bottles, 10 of them, uh, 25 quid, so that's £2.50 each. You struggle, unless you're going to a Weatherspoons, to get a pint for £2.50. Yes, I know it's 68 mil short of a pint, but still, £2.50 £2 for proper German beers. These are imported German beers from good breweries, I believe. So I just get a pause. We're going with the old dimple pint glass. I did think about using the Stein, but it's only 500 mil, so pint glass should suffice perfectly. I mean, look at that beer. It looks a little more orange on the camera. That's a nice German pour, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so I, I'm looking at it and I can see in the light that it's quite a, a golden straw colour. <sighs> I mean, it's not like your Perlenbacher. You know, you get that Perlenbacher fest beer, the brown one, it's just a bit... Mm, it's okay, but it's not nothing great, is it? This smells gorgeous, it smells bready. Ah, bready, a little hint of toast maybe definitely very bready going in because i have it's been a hot day i've walked for miles today and i am really ready for this let's have a taste oh Ooh. that that is very very nice so if you Want to enjoy beers like this? Get yourself up to little or down to little. Just get yourself to little. Um, they just came in today, um, starting from the seventh. I think this is the seventh, isn't it? Starting from the seventh, Thursday the seventh, and they have uh, however many in your shop, packs of ten, and also comes with a little guide to beer tasting. So you can put on your little notes on the back as well. You can have your own little Oktoberfest. Now I'm planning to keep at least the, the other case of these for a little bit of an Oktoberfest. Um, brewing wise, I, yeah, I've changed my mind again. I was gonna do like mango, citra, old school style Westy, maybe with a bit of Sabro in there. Then I changed my mind the other day and I was gonna do uh, a mango sour using the Philly Sour, but no, 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 back back again. I am going to do um, one of these, either the Helles or a Marzen, something like that. I really need to. Oh, yeah. So there's plenty of like, uh, sort of Oktoberfest meats up there as well. I don't have curry burst though. It's a bit of a shame. I want to try curry burst. I've not had it yet. so. Anyway, get yourself up, get yourself some of these. That's absolutely banging that. I wish it was a bit more chilled, but that's my fault. I put it in the fridge, 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 the fridge about maybe two hours ago, and it's not really yet cold enough. All the rest are in the fridge in here. Got another one in, got the Marzen to go yet. I'm gonna have a go at the Marzen next, and if that's as nice as this, then I'm gonna, yeah, I'm definitely brewing one of these, and I'm really need to get sorted to get that done this weekend because I am running low on beer. I just have the Harvey Stale on now. Um, 
So there we go. And I know just a quick shout out to Rickshaw. Um, man, I watched your video. Uh, fucking hell, man. Humbled. Thank you very much for all that. Prayers and uh, such. Um, I, <laughs> I wouldn't say I was so much of a trendsetter, but I, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Um, there we go. 5.4%. Uh, German Fest beer, the Bischofschoff. I am so bad. Uh, brewery from 1649. Now, apparently, what I read was this is from. All right, I'll read you it in here. So this is Calia, the company, and about them. So Calia, which is Hawaiian for give joy, is a small beer enthusiastic company that was founded in Salzburg in 2010 and works with many independent private breweries. The Bear Advent Calendar was the company's first innovation and has become somewhat of a cult product. It surprises with an assortment of beers that is completely different each and every year. In 2016, Kali had developed the first German language beer rating platform, Beer Tasting, which is now also available in English. Well over 230,000 beers from over 18,000 breweries have been added to the app's database. With the BeerTasting.com marketplace, Calia now offers an online shop that provides micro gypsy brewers and brewers with a platform they can offer their beer specialities on. So that's the group that have put together this Fest Beer Pack that Lidl are now distributing around the UK. Very good, very good indeed. Be really happy about this. Because it's good to see these beers getting into the UK. I mean, yeah, German beers. Can't beat him. And you can't beat him, join them then. So on that note, I'm gonna say goodbye, leave it short and sweet, or, or shorter and sweeter than it usually is. Um, I have nothing more really to discuss, so we'll leave it there. So if you got this far, thanks for watching, cheers, and I'm going to sit in the sun and enjoy the rest of this and maybe another one or two. Cheers.